Welcome to my greenhouse. You are watching Casual Gardening and Cooking. Finally, 28th of May, I managed to complete my greenhouse, fill up the uh, boxes I've got here, the raised beds that I've made, and I'm ready for planting my tomatoes. It's a little bit late, guys. That's the truth. I'm late by about two, maybe three weeks, as you're gonna see my tomatoes, they're absolutely huge, okay? So it's not the perfect conditions to actually plant them. However, I'm still hoping that I will be able to save them and I will have good harvest. Hopefully, you're gonna join me on this adventure to see if I did manage to get any quality harvest this year. If you are interested in finding out how I fill these boxes, what I actually use and how I prepare my raised beds for tomatoes in my greenhouse, then I've got a separate video on that. I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description of this one and in the pinned comment so you can go and have a look and check it out. Check out my tomatoes, they're absolutely huge. Some of them got flowers, some of them already got some fruits going on. So uh, definitely not the best scenario to be in. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to water all my plants and then the soil in the raised beds. This year I've decided to go for seven varieties. The names of them should be popping up on the screen as I go through. Now, not all of them will find its place in the greenhouse. If I'm going to have any leftovers, I'm going to put them in large pots, at least, I don't know, 20 litres um, outside of my greenhouse. One of the most important things when planting your tomatoes in a greenhouse is how you keep the distance between them. I would say the bare minimum is 45 centimeters between plants, preferably 60 centimeters. However, I only do have a very small greenhouse. It's about 11 square meters. So I may not uh, entirely keep to that distance. I'm probably gonna go for 45 or 40 centimeters, but that's me and I don't recommend that. The more space you can give between plants, the better. Now to establish the position of the tomatoes, as always, I'm using my trusty stick with a scale. Um, I do have uh, up to 50 centimeters. So in this case, that's gonna be perfect. So this is my tomato, it's absolutely huge. It's a little bit stretched out and definitely not perfect, not where I want it to be. However, that's what we've got. Now to counter this, you need to basically put it in soil as deep as possible. What's cool about the tomatoes, they can release roots from the stem itself and have a nice and healthy root system. You can remove some leaves if you've got them on the way. However, in my case, I probably got about 20 centimeters of the stem there. So that's perfect for me. I'm not gonna bury it any deeper than that. However, as we are limited for space and the depth itself, my raised beds are about 26 centimeters tall. I'm gonna put it lying down a little bit. Let me show you. I'm gonna dig out a large trench, large and deep trench. I'm gonna remove as much soil as I can. Just like so. At the bottom, just over there, I'm gonna add a bit of granulated manure. So the plant's got something to feed on. I'm gonna sprinkle a bit of soil on top. Okay, and now what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna lay the tomato just like that. Obviously be careful not to break it, okay? And if you want you can remove what, some of the leaves. I'm gonna remove this leaf as that's gonna go in the way. And now I'm gonna cover this up with a bit of soil. For now I'm just gonna support the plant with a stick, okay? And a clip just to hold it upwards. But later on I'm gonna tie it up with some strings. And finally, don't forget about the tag, so you know which tomato is growing where. That's the process I'm going to use to plant the remaining tomatoes that are, well, too large, too tall. However, if your tomatoes are still fairly smallish, well, you don't have to do that that we just did. Just make yourself a nice deep hole, add a bit of granulated manure, some soil there. And 
and we can just plant it directly into that hole. Again, try to do it a little bit deeper so some of the stem is buried beneath the level of the soil. That will help to establish new root system, making our tomato plant a lot stronger and it will grow a lot better. Now to make sure that the plant itself does have a bit of support, I'm actually going to use a piece of string, just like over here. I'm going to make a small loop just at the bottom. Obviously, it, make sure it's not tightly done up. It does have some space for the plant to actually grow as the stem of the tomato will get a lot thicker. And now just slightly wrap the string around the tomato just make sure it's quite loose as the plant will grow it will tighten the string okay so now make sure it's more or less loose with all the tomatoes now planted the last thing to do is to make sure every single plant is nicely watered and there you go guys all the tomatoes are planted hopefully they will grow nicely and give us a good harvest in total i managed to squeeze in 31 plants in here however i still got a bit of space left but that's for different uh, vegetables that if you want to see well then you need to subscribe to my youtube channel or visit my instagram or facebook page when i'm gonna be posting updates of how everything's going and what other vegetables I'm planting. I will have quite a lot of follow-up videos to, well, show you how everything's growing, but also how to look after your tomato plants to make sure they're nice, healthy, and they will give you beautiful tomatoes. And there are quite a few important steps that we need to follow to make sure that happens. So again, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss that. But for today, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.